Hey Jubes, Johnny Smith, they're back with my 84th general update, and I've got a few things I want to talk about in this update. First things first, I want to talk about Batman vs. Superman and Civil War, and then we'll get into the other stuff, we'll get into more Lego stuff. But, Civil War did come out a couple of days ago in Britain, so I'm sorry about everyone in the US where it doesn't come out on May 6th. I don't have any good explanation why they seem to always do that with Marvel films, but they do. Anyway, so, uh, I never talk about Batman vs. Superman, so I want to talk about it for a bit, and just before I start, I want to say I know that's not the Superman minifigure, I don't have one, don't judge me. Anyway, so... Um, I'll start off by saying I'm going to make this update fairly quick, so I won't talk about the films individually. I'll just sort of more compare them. Again, this is not a review, okay? Some people are saying that my reviews aren't that good. This is not a review of the film. It's more just me talking about it. An actual review of it would be a lot better. By the way, leave down in the comments. Do you want to do film reviews? I can do that. Anyway, so, uh, I'll talk about Civil War first because that's the newest one. Don't worry, there were no spoilers. I know it hasn't come out, so I'm going to come out for pff, like a week, I think. Something like that. So, Civil War, in all honesty, I saw the midnight release. And I saw Batman Superman on the midnight release. I uh, saw it with a friend. And, yeah, Civil War was better. And I swear, I'm not saying that because I'm a Marvel fanboy. I mean, I am a Marvel fanboy, but I'm not just saying that because I'm a Marvel fanboy. Civil War was actually just a better film. It, it just was. Uh, I think, and this is something I said when I saw Batman vs Superman, before I'd even seen Civil War. The fact of the matter is, Batman vs Superman and the whole DC universe, this is their second film, but uh, DC. Um, and they just, the thing, what makes Marvel so successful is the fact that, you know, these characters, let's be honest, how many of them did you know before the films? Like, before any Marvel films come out, did you, have you ever heard of Iron Man? Have you ever heard of, I don't know, uh, Thor? Maybe you might have heard of Thor, but more like the Greek god. So, you know, a lot of Marvel things you didn't hear of, but DC had just such iconic ha characters. But the reason Marvel is dominating now is because... Um, they, you know, have built up the characters over many films, over many years, but DC's trying to throw them in, and it's just, it's just, oh, DC, I know, I know you want to catch up to Marvel, I know, but you've got to pace yourself, man, you can't just be throwing in whoever, because you're not building up the characters enough, and yeah, they're very iconic, obviously, Batman and Superman, how could they get more iconic, but, yeah, and yeah, I'm not saying we need an origin story for everyone, because Batman, we don't need an origin story. We've got a, we got the Nolan trilogy pretty recently, so we don't need an origin story. So I did like that part of Batman vs Superman. I like the way that we kind of got uh, flashbacks, if you will, to what happened with his parents and stuff. But we didn't get like a full-on origin story um, uh, film. You know, I, li I like that part of it, and in fact, a lot of people said that Batman was the best part of it. So I did like that. Um, but yeah, moving on to Civil War. Civil War was just such an amazing film. It's just, it seriously, seriously was. I actually talked to this guy, because again, I saw the midnight release. And when I went to the bus stop to go home, obviously, uh, this guy actually came up to me completely randomly and we started talking about the film. That's a bit of trivia. And one of the things this guy said, because apparently, believe it or not, he's as much a Marvel geek as I am, which is unbelievable. But anyway, so um, he's also watched all the Netflix shows, all the, you know, actual shows, like on TV. And he's actually read a number of the comics. And he, he apparently this film, I feel, is definitely a film... If you're not into comics, then you'll love it. If you are into comics, then you'll love it, quite frankly. There's a lot of different shots. I will not spoil it, but there are a lot of shots which are directly from the comics. Like, it literally looks like a comic strip. And it's not cheesy in that way. It, it just looks so good. Oh, my God. Uh, one thing I will say, Spider-Man was, obviously, in, in the film. I mean, sorry. Okay, if you haven't seen trailers, then I guess a spoiler for the trailers. I know some people don't like to watch the trailers, which is, like, next level trying to st stay from spoilers. But anyway, so Spider-Man was in the film, and he did put... Oh, no, well, no. No, actually, I'm, I'm thinking how what counts as a spoiler. Mm, I'm, I'm sort of deciding uh, like what kind of a role should I say the level of role he plays. I don't know, really. Um, but nonetheless, he he. Uh, well, I'm not. I was about to say how long he was in it for. Okay, no, he was a very good character. I did enjoy his part and all of it. And a, a big, big thing, a lot of thing that people are saying is like it's oh, it's Captain. Uh, sorry, it's it's the next Avengers film. No, no, it, it is actually Captain America, like, it, it's a Captain America film, because uh, it is a lot about him, and of course the whole story is about him and Bucky, um, but it also ties in quite well to Iron Man, I won't say there's a big thing at the end, uh, like, the big re- okay, in the, you know, the last trailer, I can talk about the fight, there was the last fight with Iron Man and Bucky and Captain America, you know, the bit you saw in the trailers with, the, he's throwing the shield and all that stuff, uh, that is the last fight. Oh, was that a spoiler? I'm sorry, I don't know. <laughs> but that is the last fight, and it is epic. Oh my lord, it is epic. And there is a good motivation that Iron Man is having this fight. It's not just literally because, you know... Because I personally, from what I knew about the film before I'd watched it, I thought, oh, it's like kind of a weak reason. Sure, they disagree on, like, something, and, you know, that's cool and everything, but it's kind of a weak reason to go to war, isn't it? It seems like kind of a slightly minor disagreement. I mean, sure, you might, you know, fall out as friends, but come on, you're really going to try and kill each other with this thing? But no, the reason... Is legitimate, like why Iron Man and them like they're fighting each other. It is actually a good reason, uh, and it's believable. So I did like that. 
because uh, it goes further. It starts off with like you know registration. Oh, is it is it a registration act? I'm not sure. But you know that the whole thing about you know you have to sign with the government and stuff. It does start like that, but then it progresses basically. So I did very much like that as well. Um, overall, yeah. So, so Civil War. I'm sorry, it was just a better film, and that is not just become a Marvel fanboy because I just really love love Civil War. Oh my lord. I want to watch it again at some point. Uh, my friend, hopefully, will get tickets for free because currently I am pretty strapped for cash, so I can't afford to go see it again. I mean, I could have, I didn't have to even have to pay once because my friend said beforehand that, you know, she'll get the tickets um, uh, for us, but but I, I kind of, I didn't want to wait because she said, oh, maybe next weekend. I'm like, no, I don't want to. I mean, that's the same time that it comes out in America, which is too far away. <laughs> Sorry. But yeah, so there you go. Civil War was amazing. I loved it. Oh my god. <laughs> I cannot wa cannot wait to watch it again. I just oh my god, it was so it was just so epic. And I'm not fan. I mean, I am fanboying, fanboying, but it's not just because I am a fanboy. It legitimately was a good film, even if not into comics, even not that kind of thing. I do feel that you obviously have to have had watched the other film. I mean, that sounds obvious. Obviously, you need to go and know the characters. But in terms of like uh, also the motivations, it's not just because it's not literally like. Their best friends and kind of they just start fighting because they disagree on something. You know, through, through the past films, uh, Captain America and Iron Man have been slight disagreements. It's slight get worse. Start in the Avengers and it's kind of you know they've been friends and kind of eh, kind of relationship um, throughout and just yeah. So you, I feel you do have to watch the other films, but it's not like a massive mass priority. I feel you could take I don't know maybe your your girlfriend or something to this film who ha doesn't watch it. Is that sexist? Girl, girls can watch it. You know, girls can love Marvel. That's cool. But yeah, anyway, um, yeah, I think that's more or less it to that section of this video. So if I say both films were pretty good, I did not hate Batman Superman nearly as much as a lot of people did. Um, I, I did not love it, but I didn't hate it. You know, it was decent. I'd give it a 6.5. For me, 5 is average, 10 is obviously the best imaginable. So 6.5 is more than average, you know, but it, it's not, you know, groundbreaking. Uh, Civil War, I'd give a 9.5, definitely, probably more, actually, because I really, really, really loved it. In fact, this guy I just said that I was talking to at the bus stop, he actually said it was his favorite Marvel film ever. That's tricky, that's tricky. I really love Guardians of the Galaxy. A lot of people love Captain America, uh, Winter Soldier. Um, I love the first Avengers. Ooh, that's, that's, that's tricky. That is tricky, but it's definitely in my top bit. I also love Iron Man as well, the first Iron Man. Uh, so it's tricky, which one is my favorite, but this is definitely up there. It's, it's a good, it's a good, yeah. And... Ooh, is this, no, this is not a spoiler, this is not a spoiler, but I'm pretty sure this is the best rendition of Spider-Man we've ever seen, period. Like, better than Pete, no, was it Peter Garfield? No, Peter Garfield, was it? Andrew Garfield and Peter, Peter McGuire? No, Tony, Tony McGuire, there we go. In all honesty, just, I loved them at the time, but this is the best, it just has to be, it just, it is Spider-Man, oh my lord, it's just from the comics, it's just, this is Spider-Man, okay. Anyway, jeez, I've talked eight minutes about that. Okay, so next thing, two more things. Uh, next thing, uh, the last video I made was about top 10 worst Clone Wars sets. Oh my god, the amount of hate, well, not, well no, I suppose it was hate, but it was like, it wasn't just like haters completely randomly commenting, because I've had that, it was almost, if you will, justified hate, kind of, towards that video, and it's the first video I've ever uploaded, which has got more hate than, uh, sorry, like, more dislikes than likes, that's the first ever video ever, which I shouldn't really laugh at, but <laughs> I don't know why, I kind of, on, on some weird psychotic level, I feel a little proud of that, but, um, yeah, so, Here's the thing, here's the thing, because I, I, I was thinking this when I was making this uh, video. I really was, okay, I swear. Um, the, 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 the sets I chose on that list, and the order I put them in, they are not inherently bad sets. What I'm going to do soon, I'm going to put up another video with every single Clone Wars set in order, because by the way, that's how I make a top 10 or a top 5. I literally take every single thing from the category, like top 10, I don't know, minifigures from whatever year, I literally get every single minifigure from that year, uh, type it out on a piece of paper, print it out, cut them out separately, like each different line, you know, and I literally physically put them in order, you know, one on top of the other, and all that stuff, that's literally what I do with the entire thing, so I do top fives and top tens just because there's no reason doing anything else, but if I wanted to, I could just do the entire list of just like in order, because that's what I do, I put the entire thing in order actually, of every single one ever, and I did that for the Clone Wars sets as well, so, and just because there are so many Clone Wars sets that have been released in the years, I thought I might as well do top t 10 worst as well. None of the Clone, none of, well, no, none of these Clone Wars sets are inherently bad, okay? I'm not saying that. In fact, I have several of them, but they are just the least good, if you will. It's just like, you know, it's kind of one of those things where, like, almost, if you have, like, say Pixar. Pixar makes so many amazing films, 
and then you have like something like Cars, which in my opinion, Cars is not a terrible film. It really is not compared to like if like a random independent company made a film like Cars. You know, that's you know, it's pretty decent. That's not bad. It's just compared to other Pixar films, it's it's pretty bad. You know, it's kind of that sort of thing where like to me at least, a lot of the Clone Wars sets were so good that it's like even the worst ones are kind of the the average. So. When I say they're the worst, they're the worst compared to the other Clone Wars sets, effectively, is what I mean. Soon I will put up a video with every single, like, I think it's 63 or something, sets in order. Because I, I took a picture of it at the time. I, by the way, I made these lists so long ago. So long ago I made these lists. So I'll like make, do a thing, put them in order, and um, yeah. So yeah, I'll put up a video, and I don't know how long, I don't know how long it'll be. I'll try to make it fairly quick. But like, it'll literally be in order from the worst to the best, all through every single Clone Wars set. So... Hope you enjoy that. And the last point is, um, can't remember. Oh yeah, uh, after that video, after that video, which I'll put up hopefully some point this week, I don't know. Um, after that, the video schedule, at least through May, maybe longer, will slow down for two reasons. Number one, finally, after I did, the, by the way, this collection video was meant to be recorded so long ago, like long before it actually was. Because I was, was going to try and record like, a ton of videos. That's also the reason that you saw four comparisons at the same time. And the comparison video, there's meant to be four top tens as well. And you, I've just put up two, obviously. Because um, I pre-recorded all of these videos so long ago. Because I wanted to have them stopped there so I could make stop motion. So far, we haven't got very far. As you can see. I mean, it's not even plugged in. So, you know. Um, uh, because the collection video just took so much longer to do. And with schoolwork and stuff. So, because of that. Wait, what am I talking about? I can't remember. Hang on, what? Oh yeah, sorry, it's too much the motion. I forgot why I was talking about that. Anyway, so the reason videos were slowing down this month was because um, partially I want to do the stop motion, and also partially, and obviously I won't have any, I did have videos stockpiled, but well, I've been uploading them, so yeah. Uh, so I want to do the stop motion, and more more pressing, actually, uh, schoolwork in general, because this is, there's only like a month, two months left. No, month? Like, yeah, no, one and a half months, I think, until I've literally finished the entire two-year course, and I'll take a gap year. There's, like, literally, I think it's mid-June when that happens. Uh, until that point, I've got so much work, it's kind of crazy. Part of which, okay, no, I'm not, I'm not going to say it's partially my fault. It's, it's, it's mostly my fault because I'm just, I'm just lazy, really, really lazy. Uh, <laughs> which is not funny, but I laugh because, I don't know, I have no idea how else to react. If I actually react in a normal way, I'd just break down with how much work I've got to do. Oh god, even compared to other people in my class, by the way, my entire class is somewhat behind, but even compared to other people in my class, I'm behind, which is just utterly ridiculous. Anywho, bloody YouTube, that's what that's the problem, is too much YouTube. Anyway, so yeah, just saying for the next month at least, videos will significantly slow down. I'll probably have that one video at some point later this week, as I said, and then after that, whew, I don't know, I don't know. I'll be working on this in my spare time, assuming I have spare time, and also college work, so... What can I say, guys? The last month and a half of college. After that, I'll be completely free, and I'll do whatever the hell I want, because I have nothing to do. I'll, 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 get, I'll get a job, though. I need to get a job. Jeez Louise. Everyone's been looking for jobs. I need to find a job. Oh, my God. Anyway, yeah, that's just personal life. Does anyone care? I don't know. Leave down in the comments. Do you care about personal life? Leave down in the comments. Are you still here? If you're still here, right, leave down in the comments. Uh, leave down in the comments. Batman v... No, leave down in the comments. Which one you think is better? Batman, Superman, or Civil War? I guess. Well, how would you know? That's a dumb thing to say. How would you know? You haven't watched Civil War, probably. Oh, I don't know. Leave down in the comments something. Say that you were here to the end, I guess. I don't know. Anyway, there we go. That is it. I've still got to clean my room, do a crazy amount of college work, and finish stop motion, and just, just, yeah. This is, this is currently my walking space. I've nowhere to go. Yeah. Oh, yeah. Well done, Josh. There you go. <laughs> that is it. Thank you guys for watching, and I'll see you next time another video and then after that it'll be quite some time but yeah do you enjoy these updates i don't know i talk so much oh my god <laughs> i'm gonna go to bed god is late okay bye guys troops oh, i don't know i haven't done one of these videos in so long don't judge me <sighs> bye troops